My name is Anna Jensen. Let's learn some UiPath. Today we will see how we can set up Office 365 in UiPath. First, we will need to register our Office 365 integration in UiPath. And we'll need to do that on the Microsoft Identity Platform and we need to add API permissions. Then we will go to UiPath and we will create a simple workflow that verifies that we indeed have a connection to Office 365. So first we go to portal.asia.com. I've already logged in, but in case you didn't do that, do that. Click the three ribbons up here. Then we will choose Asia Active Directory, like this. And then you will need to do, click App Registrations, like this. Click a new registration up here. And this one will be our um, UiPath Office 365 Office 365 UiPath. Then we'll choose a multi-tenant account and under web, click the public client native. And then uh, we will use this address here, founded on desktop app that calls web APIs app registration. Just scroll a little bit down and choose this one. Uh, it even says that in the future, uh, let me cut this, it says in the future they will use this, but I found uh, some problems with this a lot, so just use this one for now. By the way, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel to get all the new videos about UiPath and RPA. But then we go back to Asia. We will paste our address in here, and then we will click register. We will see that we created a successfully application Office 365 UiPath. We will uh, be needing uh, this client idea here, application idea, and the tenant idea here, those two. But first, we will need to add API permissions. So click API permissions here. Then we will click add a permission. Click Microsoft Graph. Click delegated permissions, and now we can choose what permissions we want. We want to use the calendar, we want to use files, sites, and mails. So uh, calendars, and we will uh, use read and read write here. Then we will go to files, choose read, read all, read write, sorry, read write and read all. Then we will go to mail. Here, we will choose mail read, mail read write, mail read write shared, mail send, mail send shared. On the side, we will have uh, here, we will have the read all and read write all. Then we will click add permissions. And now we're done here in Asia. So we'll go to overview because we will be needing this application idea and the tenant idea. What we want to do is that we want to create a simple workflow in UiPath that will just create a worksheet here in our OneDrive. So go to UiPath. First, we will need to go to Manage Packages, click All Packages, and then we will search for Microsoft Office 365 Activities, click Install, and then click Save. Then click I Accept. You will wait a few seconds while you hear me. By the way, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. That will really help me a lot. So while we wait, we will uh, talk uh, a bit more. No, we are done now. So first, we uh, click the sequence. We will uh, create some variables. First, we will have our application idea. So str application idea. And in the default value, we will choose uh, from Asia, we will choose our application ID here. So copy that one in, be sure it's the right one, the application ID. So make quotation marks and copy it in. Then we want a tenant, so str tenant. Go to Asia again, copy it, and paste it in in quotation marks here as well. So then we need our Office uh, user and Office 365 pass, so str Office 365 user. This is mine, so I'll just be saying this at clone this dk. And then str Office 
365 pass. Well, I'll pause the video because I don't want you to see my password. I could, of course, create this as an asset in Orchestrator, but I'll just have to code it in uh, here in my variable manager. So uh, I'll pause the video, then I will paste it in, and I'll close the variables. That was it. So now we can uh, create our uh, office uh, sequence, how we can uh, see that it actually works. So we'll so first we'll search for Microsoft. And under Office 365, we'll choose the Office 365 scope. Always choose that one. Here we will define our application ID, create a variable for that. Um, under uh, Services, we'll choose Files, because we only need files for now. Then under Tenant, we'll say str tenant. That was we created that variable as well. Now we just need password and username, and those one we created as well. So this one is the user, and this one is the pass word like this so now we can uh, indeed log in and that's just create we want to create um, a worksheet here in my onedrive in this folder office 365 temp so what we need to do here is that we will need to uh, under office we will under excel we'll just say create workbook here but we'll need something here we'll need a name and a parent a parent, that's the drive item. So we need to find the drive item first, and we'll do that uh, by going to Files, and then we'll say Find Files and Folders. So here we can make a query. We'll just search for Office 36510. You'll see this is the name, like this. So our query will be this. And then um, we will just say the first output here. So uh, we'll say Control-K first. And then result like this. So now we created a query that returns this first result. So we go down here in our workbook, our workbook's new name that could just be like hey you, like this. And then uh, our parent that will just be our st, oh, sorry, our first result like this. Then we could try to run the workflow to verify it works. Click Run File. We'll need to log into Microsoft once more. We can see it here. Choose my mail address. Then I'll choose I can send on behalf of my organization and click Accept. That's it. We could verify in my OneDrive that we actually created a worksheet called HeyU. That's how easy it was to set up Office 365 in UiPath.